theology of marriage. For us to understand marriage, we have to understand it from God's perspective. Because God is the originator of marriage. He's the one who came up with the idea of marriage. When you go back in the Garden of Eden, you see that God created everything within six days. All these things that you see were created. But they say on the sixth day, there was something important that happened. He created man in his own image. The first person to be created was Adam. So the Bible records that when he was created, on Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, the Bible says, God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I should make him a helpmate. In other words, God saw that it wasn't good for man to be alone, to be lonely, because all the animals were created in pairs, females and males. And God is saying, it is not good for man to be alone. Was this a mistake? No, it wasn't a mistake. God did that deliberately. He wanted Adam to be alone so that he can appreciate when the wife you know sometimes when you are born with a silver spoon in your mouth, it is easy to appreciate uh, what God has done to you if you remember from where God has taken you. So Adam was alone. The Bible says that he decided to make Eve for Adam. So when Eve was created and God breathed into her, and she became alive. And the Bible records on Genesis chapter 2 that God brought Eve to Adam. And when Adam saw Eve, they say he was very happy. That's when he started the song, You are the bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. He was excited. He became romantic because that was something important. It is a lesson unto us that God is the one who originated marriage. He created the woman. I know many of people have been asking me that today we see that men can marry each other, even women can marry. For us, the original marriage that we see in the Garden of Eden, because anything that you have questions, for you to understand the origin, you better go in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 and 2, it is original and pure, because sin starts from Genesis chapter 3. So the first two chapters of the Bible and the last two chapters of the Bible explain what was the origin or what is the right thing for us to have. So if you want to have the original nature of things, go to these two books, Genesis and Revelation, especially in Genesis, the first two chapters. So God allowed Adam to have the wife and they say he loved you. The woman and he named her Eve. In other words, the name Eve means she came from Eve. Together they were one. Because the Bible says, and two shall come together and become one. When two people are married, they become one. They become one in everything financially, mentally, spiritually. They do things together. This is what God intends in every marriage that we have. But today, we are living in a broken society, whereby marriages are not one as they were supposed to be. Everybody is doing it own way. This is certain way of destroying marriages. Therefore, I plead with you guys who are married, love your spouses, and may you become one. Pray to God to give you the spirit of oneness, because by doing that, that's when we please God. Or if you have any other problems that you are facing, ask God to guide you, because God is good and God is there to give you the help that you need. May God bless you. Amen. You were with me, Victor Power.